and welcome y'all to Black of the Motherfucking Berry. I am Dean. That is the Madman Lopes. What up? And uh, we have a special guest of us in the building. Oh shit! It's been a while, it's y'all. Been a grip. When yeah, has yeah. the last time y'all y'all seen us just kicking and talking some shit, trying to put the science to the math for y'all? You know what I'm saying? We we trying to make sure that y'all y'all right out here. Yeah, it's been a minute, man. It's been a minute. And uh, I think there's only one way for us to really come in and do this. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just oh no, ahead. I wasn't even gonna do that. No, no. Go ahead. Do it. Go ahead. Do it. Corona, <laughs> Corona, Corona. Yeah, the coronavirus, y'all. Go ahead, flip your phone upside down. Oh yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, Corona made me do it. Yeah. So, a special <laughs> yeah. guest and, and theme: the coronavirus. Everybody, everybody, everybody here, clap it up for coronavirus. Cue the applause. I don't know. Ah, I don't, do we even want to cue the applause for Hell that? Hell no. Fuck Corona. That shit is, to be honest with you, I guess the whole thing that bothers me about it is that, yes, I'm, I am mad. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Um, <laughs> we did disinfect all of this. I know. I, don't, um, I wiped it down, but you never be too clean. But yeah, but <laughs> the thing the thing that's like really killing me about the whole situation is that one, <laughs> nah, nah, this is the thing, is that one is kind of, um, we got the, what? <laughs> It, 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 yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's just protecting you. Um, just hand sanitizer. You'd be all right to anti Not my shit. Not my but, um, but the thing that I guess is killing me is that the fact that Trump did, a, you know, he did away with the, um, with, with, with the group that, um, and I, and I forgot their particular name, but it was back in 2000, was it 2018? Or was it 2000? Yeah, it was 2018. He got of rid what? of the, huh? Of what? 2018. No, but 2000. What? What did he get rid of? He got. He got rid of. Basically, it was like um, these individuals who were doing the infectious disease tracking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so now that's kind of left us even more fucked up than we normally would be. He keeps talking about Obama, but listen, my brother. You can't be talking about Obama like that because Obama was the one who instituted to put that group together. Yeah, so the this, one they were dealing with example, um, like Ebola and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, with Ebola, he dealt with Zika, um, and then he also dealt with H one N one and and you know, to relative to, to, to massive success. Right. Whereas when your punk ass got in office, you thought that it was okay to go ahead and cut those programs and, and, and it completely was not. Um For what? I don't understand. Maybe the America is so or? fucking America is so fucking short sighted when it comes to certain things and to you know what? Um that that doctor, Michael something, I I I forgot got the dude's name he was on the michael something yeah whatever he was on the joe rogan show dr michael something shout out to you yeah 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 dr mike um he was out there on the joe rogan show and he was basically he had said something that had really put the science to the math of it when you think of it he was like yo when america's about to go to war they don't then build a nuclear weapon right you don't get a nuclear reactor the minute we're going to go into war we had that ready Mm -hmm. prepared for this moment Mm -hmm. and we as americans forget like one, I, what, what I, what I guess the thing that's that, that has me mad because the way I'm looking at this whole thing is that this is not only a fail on our on the Department of Health, but this was also a fail on our military in the sense of listen to me, I'm about to put the science to the math of it. What if this was a biological attack? What we'll be, what we'll what, what is what? We don't have defenses for that, y'all. We haven't, we haven't, we haven't thought that that eventually war would get to this kind of way. You know and, how much money we put into this fucking military and, for the, for this for this kind of shit to happen? Right. Oh no, I'm pissed. Right. I'm pi- oh, listen, motherfuckers. And, and it, to your point that we've been there's been biochemical weapons since World War II. So it's like, what are we? What are we doing? <laughs> they would drop and a smallpox mo- back then. You come on, son. You mother. You mo- listen. You dirty son of a bitches have went into countries and even your own motherfucking cities and have destroyed them mm-hmm. using what. what we know now as, as, as sexual transmitted diseases. Mm-hmm. So where the fuck is the department in the Department of Defense that is supposed to be handling bio, bio, um, chemical, biochemical, or, or just or biological warfare? Yeah. What's up with y'all motherfuckers? Because what if, what if the Chinese had made something to directly target us? What would y'all be saying then, son? How much money do we put in you motherfuckers? And every year you continually ask for an increase. And now you got in today's day and age, motherfuckers are really looking at y'all defense budget because most of it you are not able to defend because of what y'all doing. I feel you. I hear you. But at the end of the day, you can't even really show us exactly what you're doing. 
So why shouldn't we be cutting y'all budget if you ain't using it in the correct manner to actually fucking protect us and then put it to other useful shit? Like, I don't know, healthcare for all. I don't know, clearing student debt. Like, shit, we gonna go there. Let's go there because you motherfuckers not doing what you need to do any motherfucking way. Come on, son. Go off the bullshit, B. And, and to Talk little, all that shit, son. Come little, on, B. This is a back. massive, this is a massive fucking black fucking eye on this administration. No matter how you want to fucking cut it. Because what do they really do? I feel like, what, what, like you were saying, like they've, they've, I feel like they've done nothing. Like we, sometimes some people forget. Like I remember when it was <laughs> when Trump just got in the office, they were like, "Oh," and they thought it was like three years already. I'm like, "Nah, it's only been nine months." Now it's been like, "Oh, he's about to, he's about to come out," and they're like, "Oh, wow, wow, it, it did go." There we go. That sounded yeah, better. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Now my headphones is in. Yeah. I can't hear myself, but um, I can hear Los. But yeah, so now it was, it was like. Now it's like, oh, he's about to get out. And it's like, I feel like now the, the darkest days is, has come where it's like he did all that shit, didn't get really much done, just, just said a bunch of shit and like didn't really nothing. But I feel like that is the way, like, you know how, um, like the world and like the sister dominant system tries to like fuck us through the, so, through the, uh, through the presidents and stuff like that. And they try yeah. to like destroy and, uh, and can you hear me in your headphones? Yes, bro. Oh, cause I can't hear myself. Can you turn my um, my headphones up a little, or do I have to do it over here? No, nah, you sound good, right? That's the level really? right there. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Can you hear oh. yourself? No, I can't hear myself at all. Yeah, I can hear. You. Keep talking. Yo, yo, yo. Uh, box, make sure. Okay, hold on. So, all right, it's plugged in. Yeah, right. Hold on. All right, so it's this one right here. See, this Corona got even the fucking technology fucked up. We ain't never. You know what I'm saying? Fucking, fucking. I can hear you in my headphones. I can't hear a goddamn thing. Hold on. Is this yours? No, this is, is this mine? Nope. No, you don't even know what you're doing. Nope. That's mine? Nope. Don't do that. Nope. All right, whatever. Let's just roll. If you can hear me, then fuck it. Let's go. Yeah. Or right, set to B. Or right, is it set to B? Is it set to B? Yeah. You sure? It does say B. Because each one of them say B. They each say B. I don't know what's going on, but we're going to keep it moving. <laughs> <laughs> Did you set it to one bow? <laughs> <laughs> it's the Corona. Did you set it to one bow? Can you hear yourself now? Yeah, turn that. Well, I still can't hear myself. I can hear you, though. Okay. What about now? Uh, I still can't hear myself. I don't know what's going on. Fuck it. If you can hear me, that's all that matters. So we can just keep it pushing. We'll you sound clear, though. Oh, now what? I can't hear shit. Hello? I can't hear a goddamn thing. Uh, you did you set it to one bow? <laughs> ah, shit. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. All right, hold on. Leave can, it. Can you hear you? No, I, I, oh, a little bit, but fuck it. Let's just roll. All you, right. If you can hear me, that's fine. All right. Zika. I mean, I can, <laughs> Corona. I can, I can hear you. Uh, I can hear me a little bit. There we go. There it is. All right, cool. Cool. Um, cut all that out. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, so, what I was talking about before is like, I feel like now Trump Trump being in office and leaving right now, I feel like, yes, he's, he's this. So, when each of them have, a, you know, the president comes in each term. Sure. Uh-huh. Um, they find some way to push the secret agenda, you know. So while Ob- Obama's uh-huh. doing whatever he's doing, right? You know, and they say he wasn't doing much for black people. N- meanwhile, they're getting all their secret adje- adje- uh, objectives completed. I feel like with Trump, they're getting a lot of their objectives completed and not doing nothing for to the public opinion or doing anything. You know what I mean? So they just they're just like he it's just. A, it's an easier way to say fuck you to, the, to right, everybody. Right? He's, he's just a like headliner, and right, then right, right. with the, the fake news, that's why everything is like it's like. It, it just works for him. You know what I'm saying? Like, he says anything, it becomes, he you know, that's why he still tweets. And it's like, that's why it's like, it's, he's, try, he, their, their thing is like, all right, it's like, it's more like a fuck you because at least Obama is like a respectable man. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> and like a wholesome dude and like yeah. had good morals. You know what I mean? And then you have Trump coming in and it's like, it, he doesn't it, care to the utmost degree, but then it's like, it is, and he still blames Obama for sh- that. It's it's your presidency, it's your campaign. You can't, you, you, you don't see Bush. I mean, all these guys, you can't. You got to blame everybody else. But you know what, though, I, honestly, this is a, this has to be this one. This is something that we as Americans need to. We got to take this on the chin because this is our fault as well. Because we we get distracted by so much fuckery, we get distracted by the wrong things that that we forget that these motherfuckers do shit like this. Um, you know. Passing laws, cutting programs all the time, and we have no fucking idea because we're not paying attention at all. Absolutely. So we need to hold ourselves accountable. We need to hold our other elected officials accountable because I wonder, um, you know, while everybody was, you know, going after the 
while we wasted all those tax dollars trying to impeach Trump, what if we actually, you know, what if there was like a campaign that actually was, um, I don't know, trying to to actually figure out what the fuck he was really doing in office and really informing the people so they can make informed decisions. But y'all wanted to... You think that would have been successful? Because I feel like that... Yes, because obviously that was successful what they did. And what I mean by, what, what I mean by that is, is like, it's simple. He cuts, you know, when he cuts certain programs, you continue to hammer that point all the fucking time. Right. You see what I'm saying? Okay, like, that's what you mean. Like, it shouldn't have been... You become been, like a public lobbyist. Exactly. Um, it shouldn't have just been Bill Gates... Talking four years ago about some kind of pandemic like this being to take us out, and then something else too. If someone of Bill Gates' stature, um, and y'all says something, you got to believe that bitch. <laughs> not that you necessarily. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to go and just say you have to automatically believe it because you shouldn't automatically believe anything. But what I'm saying is there should be research done into this, and then we should like it's just complete and utter negligence to me that we don't have any kind of bio, biological or biological chemical defense at all. And we give y'all all this fucking money. But but what does that look like though? That's for the people at home. What are they? What are they? They're like, they're like Dean. What is it? What does a defense look like? That what? How can we defend against that? What I'm are you going to do? Professional. You're going to go what? stab much, everybody with steroids. No, but like what are you going to do? You're going to build a dome. Okay, what are you going to do? Okay. Well, how about this? How about first off, you fucking actually make sure that the food that Americans are fucking ingesting, ingesting are actually healthy yeah. food. Well, you see what I'm saying? That would that would probably be the first thing I would do as completely as, or huh? to the point that we are now because some no, but like Europe, like oh, say for instance, no, yes, we we know, yes. no, 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 yeah, no, yeah, but you're like a Europe's McDonald's burger Smaller. versus a Hempstead, I mean Hempstead, all uh, um United States McDonald's burger, it's completely different. Of course, it's actual fucking meat in their burgers. When we're eating, who knows what the fuck. Right. And, I don't really even know what I'm just saying in general. And all their sodas are something like smaller than ours. Like, you know, they don't get a full can of soda. Like how 100%. We, you know, like less we, sugar and stuff. Like that. We're yes, just fucking that. fat piece of shit. Right. And it's like, yo. And portions too. We we are bigger portions. We uh, Like, I would that would be the first thing, right? But then the second thing is, I'll be honest with you, I really don't know what a, a biological defense would look like. But what I will say this, how big is this def- how big is the defense budget? Shit, I don't know. I'm pretty sure. Hold on. You know what? Let's 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 ask Siri. Siri, how much is the defense budget for 2020? Right. So we about to we about to find out right now what's good with this. All right. So the defense budget for 2020 was 738 billion. Y'all, you listen, y'all have been getting billions of dollars for, for fucking years, decades. You're telling me, mm-hmm. you're telling me right now that we don't have any kind of defense to that kind of shit? <laughs> I mean, like I said, what, what are you going to do? Because think, here's the thing. Oh, like, all right, so let's say, let's say people don't get vaccines as is, right? So what you're, you're, you're already spraying us with all kind of what the shit. Right. So why don't you spur us with something that actually fucking empowers your fucking citizens? Stop trying to fucking but dumb us. Yeah. Stop trying to dumb us down and make us like, like, like that's the thing that kills me. Like, like the healthiest society, the healthier the fucking country would be. Right. But yeah, but, but that's America's America's psyche is like, nah, we can't have you too crazy, too smart, too, too healthy. Cause then you're over, you're, you're forget that we are. On top of you, you know what I mean? Like that, we can't we can't have you rising up. You no, like, but this is but then once again, this is why I blame us is the fact that we as the citizens have not cle- like like we all have been saying, it, but we have done nothing about any of that. We know it. Every one of us know at this point in time what the what the problem is. Mm-hmm. We know that the elected officials that are actually in office are not actually for us, and we understand that there is some kind of shadow government or a few motherfuckers that are running not only this fucking country but a few other fucking countries. Absolutely. And the fact that we have done nothing all about colonies. it in any of the fucking sort at all, yeah. we are to blame for some of this as well. Yeah, so this but, whole shit we got to eat, and not, not, not that we got to appreciate and be happy about it, but we gonna have to we we. This is part of our fuck. We are but part you, of the fucking but you, problem. But you understand what you what you're talking about here. You're talking about, uh, um, like a whole bunch. We have to in, in terms of stature and power. It's like an ant to a giant. You know what I mean? So we gotta get a whole bunch of ants to that giant. You know what I mean? So and that's why the, that's you why do you know the fire ants can kill a human. They can, they can, they can. You're right. But we gotta get enough enough ants on that motherfucker. You know what I mean? So it's like, and and I feel like t- some people don't know, and some people are lost in terms of how do we even try to topple that? You know what I mean? As a whole, 
You know what I mean? Because that's a you're talking about a system change. You know yeah, what I mean? A, a complete and utter overhaul. System. You know what I mean? The and only thing we would have to, to do. I'm not even gonna say it here on here. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, but no, but what I'm, no, but what I'm, but what I'm saying <laughs> what? is that we need to. We need to understand that we literally have more leverage than they do. Right. Because they need, in order for them to stay in their positions, they need us. Well, do they? Because they're treating us like they don't. Who else runs, who else was running the country? I mean, we, we're, 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 we're collateral as soon as, soon as we're born. We're, we're products. Of birth. Here's the question. Here's the question. Here's the question. Here's the question. What if everybody didn't go to work? Everybody. Don't get me wrong. People would die because I'm talking about medical professionals as well. What if everybody didn't go to work? Everybody. What does that even mean? Because what? I think we would still go to work in some kind of way or fashion. We would still do something. What if you did not work for the establishment at all? Like, like, like what, if, what if the protests against the establishment was all Americans? I'm talking about small business owners as well. If everybody just shut down business. Shut down because we were we are unhappy with the way things are. You're not, gonna, would, you're not gonna have people like that. No, but but what I'm saying, but what but you're saying what we would need. Mm-hmm. This is what you would need, people. On that, once humanity will never get on that accord. No, and what, and what but what and what I'm saying is it's gonna sound people are gonna be like, oh, you sound fucking ridiculous. But when you really think about it, if you really if the what you would need is a is a is a complete and utter collection and everybody to agree that okay. This is the only, the only way, to way hurt them. this is going to work. Yeah, if we do this. Yeah, you have to understand though, people will die because I'm talking about healthcare workers too, or maybe we negotiate just the healthcare workers go go in. I don't know. That that depends because people are going to be like, oh, I don't want my loved one to die, and I pre- I freely on that one. Yeah. So maybe so maybe but, you yeah. just send you send the healthcare workers in, but everybody else stays home. What happens? And, and to law light, enforcement too, though. And and to lighten it up, um, and kind of switch back to to coronavirus. Coronavirus. Corona, <laughs> um, corona, corona, corona virus. Thank you. Thank you, Dean. Yeah. Next time, just give me a warning. I'll cue you in. Um, <laughs> no doubt. And this is Lewis at, at 6 o'clock. <laughs> um, but back to Corona, it's kind of been ruining our lives right now. Everybody's in this this hysteria, and it's like yeah. they're can- everybody's canceling shit, and everybody's yeah. I mean, I got a concert to go to in May, and I hope they don't cancel that shit. Yeah, I have a fluffy concert to go to in April, and I don't know how that's going to be looking because to be honest with you, everybody keeps saying that we are just a little bit behind Italy, and we all know how Italy is right now. So it'll be interesting if it even gets like that over here. I'm not like who knows. Um. But they really, they're ruling to the average everyday person, a sports fan. This is a dark day. Well, this is way bigger. To be honest with you, like this whole sports thing was like a second thing to me because it's way bigger than sports at this point. I know, but damn. From surface value, if I can be basic for a second, (laughs) you know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Go ahead. Like, this shit is ruining my sports life, son. Yeah, I wonder wonder what happens with the. No XFL, no March Madness. What has ESPN been covering? Corona. And and, and thirty for thirties, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean reruns and shit like that. You are right, Matt. You do have the Xbox. You do have like you know, um, PlayStation, all that kind of good stuff. And you can't simulate seasons, but that doesn't work. Yeah, you know no, I, mean? I know. I understand that. Yeah, when we can do that, but it's not. It's not the same. It's not going to work because it's everybody's going to have like a different outcome this season. Right. Listen, I can make LeBron go fifty a night when I'm playing with him, but he's not going to go fifty a night tonight. You know what I mean? And, and well, they definitely not now, but mm-hmm. you know what I mean. But there's there's no sports, man. Can I, can we get the camera on myself? Me because like I want to cry to the people at home. It's just like you know, it's just we we. I, I really, 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 truthfully want to tell y'all, sports fans, I'm here for y'all. And this is the perfect way to vent. Because it's rough out in these streets, man. No sports. No sports. No football. No football. It's not even football season, but still XFL. No XFL. No fucking, no basketball. No basketball. LeBron's supposed to win under the ring. No ring. <sighs> and then no we got, then, then wrestling, right? Wrestling's done, right? Son, this nigga Vince McMahon. What? Is fucking bold as shit. He is fighting tooth and nail. First of all, let me tell you, he has moved basically SmackDown and Raw. They're going to be going out of the performance center that WWE owns. Mm-hmm. So they're going to be going in front of a empty crowd. Um, nope, the Laundry Football League is done as well. Um, <laughs> Damn. Corona. Now, WrestleMania, 
He has yet to cancel in Tampa. And when is it? It's supposed to be in April. April when? Like 4th or something. But then the funny thing about it is that a lot of fans that are supposed to be coming are international fans. And Donald just basically blocked international travel for European countries. And a lot of those people would have been coming over for WrestleMania. He's like, Linda, Linda, didn't I tell your fucking friend? Tell your friend to fucking... (laughs) This is bullshit. (laughs) This is bullshit. But yeah, so he has not yet canceled WrestleMania, but he's going to have to. There's going to be no way around it. Yeah, no, because it's a a bad look right now. You know what I mean? Because everything's cool. Like I said, no football, no basketball, no hockey, no baseball. You know what I mean? Um, It's a lot right now. There's nothing going on. It's it's a dark world for sports. There's no shit. You think about it, there's no late late night shows. You got to think about it, there's no... Listen, Broadway is is Broadway's gone. They listen. They are there. Is excuse me. Um, Broadway has gone dark. Um, there is nothing going on. They they for a month. Concerts they, are concerts are done. This shit is like this shit is like a social plague. Like what are we doing? We're supposed to have social distance. Um, it'll be interesting to see how all this goes. Yeah, it'll be very interesting. Um, I'm interested. Yeah, and I, I but I, like I said before, I think it just shows an utter lack. Um, in our in our military, um, okay, yes, 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 yes. This, in terms of preventative and, but like I said, what are you going to do? Like people don't want to take vaccines as is, so you're not going to like they're like going to they're not going to want this steroid like, that like I said that may this, or may not work or may protect them for some shit that they that may not or may happen. You know what I mean? Listen, you're spraying and you're, you're spraying us, and you got all this shit coming in the chemtrails, the right? And listen, right. you got you you fucking the water up. You're doing a whole, all this shit. Mm-hmm. You motherfuckers have yet to really invest in keeping your population healthy, and 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 a byproduct of that would be yourself. So that way, that you know, we would stay above. No, them. they're good. They're probably good. But at one point in time, they weren't because they had to get to those positions. Absolutely, that's what I'm saying. So you shouldn't want to have somebody have to go through all those things. You should want a healthy society so that that way you can get the well, best. Well, you can get the best and utter and and, and the utter and, and and the utter most healthy individual out there in your fucking society. You know what I'm saying? But, but we out here fucking yeah. slacking. We are out here slacking. And that's America for you though. But we never. You know what I mean? We're not straight. We are right. We, we don't got a head on straight. You know what I mean? We we would think that you wouldn't want your citizens to be healthy and plentiful. But no, you. We're like Russia and like Korea. Like we only ones that sabotage. Show. Sab- not on not on that yeah, chill don't don't we not like Russia. We're, I, I'm not to yeah, that North depth Korea. but to the point where we sabotage your own citizens absolutely yeah, disenfranchise yeah, your own yeah, citizens we are, absolutely we are, we are and, and, and to be honest with you and the worst thing about it is all this comes back to one thing that's fucking greed because the reason that we're even in any of these positions that we're in right now is all because we decided to fucking go with big corporation with, with big corporate interests and the reason that that, that that happened is because we are not paying attention to what happened in the fucking house and in the goddamn senate we're all just fucking acting blind let these motherfuckers do whatever they want to do and now look at where we're at we're all sitting here looking like fucking we're looking crazy we're looking crazy we fucking we went out before this happened we decided you know what we're gonna go you know we're gonna like you know grab a burger and we're gonna you know grab a drink or whatever the case may be right and uh you know you you went to the spot and every other table you had motherfuckers getting mad at the fucking waiters and shit like that because they couldn't get seated and shit and it's like yo you this is this this is the precaution that we got to take in, that we have to put in place because one donald trump your bitch ass decided to cut the motherfuckers who would be looking out for this shit and number two Department of Defense, you have no fucking answer for this shit. What if they really want to come get at us? What if anybody wants to come get at us like this? Y'all have no cyber defense and y'all have no goddamn. Oh god, no cyber. Oh shit, hell no, no, no there's cyber. No defense. cyber defense, and then you got no goddamn bio, um, bio, uh, biochemical or biological weapon defense. Mm-hmm. The only thing we can do is like nuke people and then fucking shoot them with different kind of guns, and we got some drones. But what else do we have? Right. Come on, son. We give y'all all this fucking money and y'all doing all these punk ass covert operations. Well, there's a lot of shit we don't know. We probably got plasma weapons out there. What does that do? But what do we have for defense? We can block missiles, but we can't block viruses. And I'm not saying that's a, that's an easy task. But what I'm saying is we need to really allocate this money to the correct and proper way. And we need and, and listen, we need to give science and math the, the correct, proper, and utter due that it, that, that, that it needs. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? And resources and, and listen, we've been dropping in the fucking in in, in math and, and and science for years. What mm-hmm. are we like thirty fifth in the world now? Or something yeah, it's like that? terrible. It's horrendous for Americans. We should be fucking ashamed of ourselves. Yeah, look at us. Like if you want to be a doctor, you gotta go east. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. You still you, you, listen. There, you still get a good education in America, but 
you know, there are better techniques where we used to be leading the world. And look at us. We look like fucking jackasses who don't know our fucking elbow from our assholes. It's absolutely, utterly fucking disgusting. Mm-hmm. And we should be fucking ashamed of ourselves. I guarantee you, though, you know, you know what Americans are reminding me of right now? What? You know, you know how when you were younger and you may have had that one badass cousin or that one, or there was that one kid who was like a badass who fucking couldn't read and could damn, and couldn't damn near write, but fucking knew every song to every goddamn <laughs> fucking rap song or any, every fucking, like, mm-hmm. you know, everything that they didn't need to know. Mm-hmm. That's America. We know everything we don't need to know. Mm. I guarantee. Well, that, but that's but that's to say, look, look at America's youth. Yeah, you know I mean, we're still a young country. Yeah, you know I mean, so it's like, you know, what do you, you know, so it's like that could be unacceptable, un- 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 unacceptable <laughs> when we're when when it's because of those fucking reasons that we are now living in the times that we are living in today, and that and that our own, our own, our own fucking the gall of us, the gall of us, and 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 to <laughs> yeah. our own deterrence. Of just thinking that we fucking know everything and can do everything, and now look at us—we look like fucking jackasses. Well, that's what happened with Somalia. You know what I mean? Look like we run shit, and then and, and you don't. <laughs> it's not too late, but we really need to get the—we really got to get our shit together. We already got to shut. And we're, well, and no, we're, don't get me wrong. We're gonna get fucked for this Corona shit. Oh, okay, okay. Don't get me wrong. All right. I just, just want to let you know if that was a thing that we most likely will probably end up fucking having to do our next ones on Anchor for a little bit. Who fucking knows? Shout out to Anchor. Shout right out now. to Anchor. Yeah, I can get y'all shit over there. Yeah. Like sponsored by them and shit. Yeah. Um, but I, I don't know. I don't know. This is this is this is the world that we live in. This is where we're at. Thank God I got a home gym. Corona in the U.S. Man, what are we gonna do? Everything's quarantined. We got self quarantine. Yeah, I hope y'all listening and watching right now because y'all probably quarantined. Everything's quarantined, man. <laughs> Well, if it's going to be quarantine, you might as well be listening to Black and the Bear. That's all I'm trying to say. Yeah, you yeah, see I mean, what I'm saying? Shit your, fine, straight matches. Get your, yeah. mind, get, you know, get your mind off the fucker and the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But then while also trying to put some science in the math for your bitch asses. Science in the math. Science in the math. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, the math to the science. So we're trying to do is look out nah, for y'all. Yeah, I definitely hear that. I definitely hear that. So y'all need to um, be sterile and uh, clean yourself and um, <laughs> wash your hands and make sure everybody's good and, you know. What else you gotta say to the people? <coughs> I don't feel so good. <laughs> don't start that shit. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, I want to say to the people that we need to take a better look at what's going on around us, and and, and then and we need to hold the uh, the parties responsible um, responsible for these actions because it's absolutely um, fucking ridiculous um, that that we are living in these times, and then and then and that we know that we really have no defense for it. Um, it's it's a little it's a little scary, it's a little daunting. Um, but you know what? We're fucking Americans. Um, no matter how you want to cut, no matter how you want to say it, we got through 9-11, We're gonna get through this shit too. You know, it's you know, virus. You know I'm saying in the early 1900s, they got through. We got through the crazy flu. You've gotten through. Um, <laughs> that's funny. Um, um, we have gotten through mad cow disease. We have gotten through the Zika virus. We have gotten through H1N1. We have gotten through the West Nile virus. We have gone through fucking HIV and AIDS. We have. We're sick. We're still fighting cancer. Still fighting obesity. At the end of the day, all we listen. We're 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 we're, we're fighting fucked up wages. We're fighting lack of health care. We are fighting. You know, children out here in poverty. We got fucking uh, 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 a ridiculous homeless crisis. We have mm-hmm. fucking veterans mm-hmm. who out here can never get any kind. Who can never get any kind of help. Never. Um, we have a mental health crisis that is fucking on a pandemic. Mm-hmm. And the black and the black and and uh, black America mm-hmm. has been getting shitted on since the beginning mm-hmm. of this country. Your country, mm-hmm. this country, would not be what it is, what it is mm-hmm. without us. So mm-hmm. all mm-hmm. I have to do is say this: if we can continue to go through all of these things, and somehow keep putting our right foot in front of our left foot, the we, right foot in front of the left. Foot. We may be going in circles. We may be fucking going all over the goddamn place, but we can continue to do that. We will eventually get our shit together. But only, eventually. but only, but only, only if we fucking hold ourselves accountable, accountable. your fellow Americans accountable, fellow Americans. and you get your shit together. So on that note, I, I am Dean. I'm the Madman. That Lose. is the Madman Lowe's, and we are out of here. Black of the berry, baby. Fuck you, Corona. Coronavirus. <laughs> Corona, <laughs> you dirty bitch. Coronavirus.